to another YouTube video. Today's video is one that I have been wanting to make and just dreaming of making for such a long time and that is a French pharmacy skincare haul. So as you know I went to Paris two weeks ago. I, I just got back. Um, has it been two weeks? I don't know. It feels like it's <laughs> it feels like it just happened and it did but Ah, that was just such a dream trip for me, one that I wanted to go on my whole life. And I have just been reading up over these last couple years so much about French skincare and how great the pharmacies are and how great the skincare in the pharmacies are. And so I always knew, okay, when I go to Paris, I am going to completely raid <laughs> the pharmacies and bring back as much stuff as I possibly can. I would have bought more more than this so this is this is my bag right here it's pretty big for like when you consider how heavy liquids are and I actually had to pay for really big like overweight luggage fees because of this but it was worth it <laughs> so I would have bought more but obviously you can only fit so much but uh, this is such a good haul so all right let's just jump into it Alright, so the very first thing that I got, especially since you cannot buy this in the US anymore, is the Nukes oil. <laughs> and originally I thought, okay, I'm going to get just like the normal, just the regular oil, and then I'm going to get the shimmery one. And then when I went back to my hotel that night and I tried it on my skin after I had taken a shower, I was like, this is just too good. Like. I'm going to use this so much so I went back and I bought another bottle so it's okay so what it is is a dry oil and it's a multi multi-purpose product so you can use this not only on your skin your body but your hair your nails your face and yeah it's because it's an oil and it's just such a like natural kind of normal formula that's why you can use it on everything and I really like using it on my like legs and my arms after getting out of the shower because I feel like it just makes you look glowy and it smells amazing I wasn't expecting the smell to be so good but I'm like this is the smell I'm like this could be my perfume <laughs> like I I can't believe like I understand now I was like why does everyone like this oil it's just an oil I don't get it but now I get it <laughs> so hopefully these three bottles can last last me until the next time I go to Paris because there will be a next time I will make sure of it but yes uh, it's so good and then especially like this glowy one as well they um it's just so pretty to put like on your collarbones or something like if you're going out to dinner and you just want to look a little bit glowy I got three of the nukes oils before I go any further there was also something I wanted to mention about French skincare which in, in the pharmacies which is the fact that their pharmacies are actually, the skincare that is in them is actually based on science. And I've heard that apparently a lot of French people don't really understand, like, why all of the, like, some of the skincare in, like, our pharmacies and the products that are sold in our pharmacies aren't necessarily all, like, that great. Because it's just, like, everything that is in their pharmacies is good. And it's really hard to actually get into a French pharmacy as a like as a brand as a seller you have to go through a lot of um, very high standard processes so yes if you are a French girl first of all I want to be best friends with you <laughs> and then second of all I just very jealous that you get access to the skincare some of the things like some of these brands like La Roche-Posay and Avene and all of those um, well, it, uh, we do have access to, but not access to everything. Like we have in, um, here in Soho, we have this pharmacy on the corner and it's a Duane Reed. And I would say that's kind of one of the biggest, one of the biggest ones that I've seen that has like these brands, but it's just not the same. It is not the same. So you guys are so lucky and I'm obsessed. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to say was that apparently in Paris, there's this one place called City Pharma that has the biggest selection, so if anyone else is 
a travel like traveling there like like I was and not from there if you have to go to only one place go there I actually the place that I visited was when we were already out of Paris in Bordeaux because there was just so much to do in Paris I like can't believe I didn't like find time to do that I think I like forgot on the one day that I had time to do it I don't know um, but I ended up going in Bordeaux and I still loved it and it's cool as well because now that we're getting into more of like the actual skincare products, obviously everyone's skin is different and the great thing about those pharmacies is that you can actually like the pharmacists are like walking around in the store and you can ask them questions like, oh I have like this problem with my skin and they'll be like come with me and they'll show you like exactly what to get. So obviously everyone has different skin types, dry, oily, normal. Um, I'm actually just have normal skincare, I'm not too oily, not too dry pretty balanced I would say um, so these are some of the things that I like okay next is a product that I have been using a lot I've taken it out of the box already because I wanted to try these things before I like also before I just gave you the review this is a cold cream from the brand Avene and this is actually meant for the face or body this is a very very thick cream and this is great for putting on your skin especially at night before you go to bed because it'll really just like soak into your skin and very much moisturize your skin it's like giving your skin like a drink it's amazing you can just tell once you put this on that it's good it's like unscented it's just a good formula and I also like just putting some of this on the backs of my hands, like dry elbows, anything like that. I feel like that's kind of a big theme in a lot of the French skincare is that the products are multi-purpose. So, yes, this one. Alright, so I can't not mention the Embryoli Sleek Cream Concentrate, but this is one that I have been using for a long time anyways as my daytime moisturizer before makeup. It's truly, truly the best. I've been using this for years, but this is obviously a big French skincare brand, and they actually did not have the full size in any of the pharmacies that I visited. It's seems to be just completely sold out but they did have this mini size which I don't know if we have available in the US but I thought that this was cute and great for traveling as well so yeah I like that and um, this is a great 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 moisturizer it has I believe it's because it has glycerin very high on the ingredient list but every single time that I am getting my makeup done by a makeup artist they always start with this as, <laughs> they always start with this as a base first because it is just that good under makeup and a lot of um, models I know have said as well that this is something that they will pass around and it's just the best moisturizer for daytime. Oh, the Bioderma Micellar Water, obviously. I've also been using this one as well, but I was like, I need a French one. <laughs> I need like, I need one from the French pharmacy. <laughs> so yes, I got this one um, and this is like the micellar water. So this is great for taking off makeup. This is great for kind of like the double cleanse. So I like to use this on a cotton pad just to remove my makeup as my very first step in my skincare like routine at night is taking off my makeup and then I'll go in with my cleanser afterwards but yeah this is amazing it's like if you put this on a cotton pad and then go over it even after you use your cleanser without using this first you'll see how much is left on your skin so this really I feel like helps to actually get all of the makeup and dirt off so this has been like an amazing product and um I feel like once I started using this a couple years ago, that was almost the turning point in my skincare in that I started to break out less often. Not that I've ever really been someone that has a lot of breakouts, but I felt like that just kind of helped make things a little bit more clean. And whoa, there's a, a the sun really coming through the window here. Next thing I also got was the Wellida Skin Food. And I got this because my current one is running out but this is honestly such a good product it's crazy now because they just changed the packaging to this like really bright green but this is called the skin food and I first heard about this from Katie Jane Hughes which I talk I feel like I've been talking about a lot recently on my channel she's a the dewy queen she is a makeup artist and she is the best at making very glowy dewy healthy makeup looks very natural as well well it depends <laughs> sometimes she'll do like crazy eye looks and crazy makeup looks and stuff she loves experimenting with makeup but she 
uses this product all over the face before makeup and if you do this and then you put say your concealer on over it your skin will look just naturally healthy and glowy and I really like doing that in the winter time also this is just great for your skin as well like if you have again like dry elbows you could probably put it on your cuticles on your hands like especially in the winter time when things get really really dry this is extremely like thick product and yeah, it's great. Everything on this is in French, um, so I can't like read off the back, but this is also like, if you are like me and you're traveling and you can only fit certain things in your, so many things in your luggage, this is one of the ones I would say for sure to take back. And then also, since from the same brand, also from Waleda, is a body lotion, and this one is the not the fragrance free one so it says sans perfume on it and I have been using this non-stop since I got back every night before bed I've been applying this all over my legs and then getting into bed and then I wake up and my skin is just super moisturized so I absolutely love this and I feel like also just like this first like say if you're I don't know if you're like in the summertime you're like going out at night and you're wearing like I don't know a, like a short skirt or something where your legs are really out put this on your legs and then spray some of the glowing nukes oil and that would just be like the best combination your legs would look so nice and even just like I don't know your body your decolletage everything that would be the best combination but I think I have been searching so long for my like favorite body lotion because I feel like so many of them can just feel too greasy or too oily and they're just not right but this one is just somehow the best formula <laughs> so yes there's that then okay I read on a website that this one was also good to get. This is the Bioderma Photoderm Bronze SPF 30. So this is a spray. I guess it's good for, say, especially like if you're going to be outside in the sun, getting more of a tan rather than just like a burn. It has an SPF. When you spray it on, it does spray like, let me just, oh no, it sprays white. It smells okay. I don't really, I don't know how I feel about this smell. It's fine. It's fine but yeah I read this on a website and it's kind of too bad that I bought this at the end of the summer because I feel like this is something that I would have gotten a lot of use out of but if you are going on say like a summer vacation this winter like if you're going away to a tropical island definitely take this with you I will leave a link if you can buy this in the US but it says that it's for face and body. I would probably mostly more so use this on the body because I feel like when it comes to facial skincare, I'm going to just be a little bit more careful. But it's good to know that you can if you needed to. Yes, I think that it says that it prolongs your tan. So, that's cool. Also, I have been using nonstop since I've been back, and I know for a fact that you can't get this in the U.S., sadly. So when I was at the pharmacy and the pharmacist, you actually have to, like, ask for this behind the checkout counter. She was like, do you want a small one or a big one? I was like, give me the big one, because <laughs> I knew that it would be a while. But this is, again, one of those, like, multi-purpose products. I actually had heard Violet FR talking about this one and saying that it was good to put on the lips. I have heard that it's more so for locking in moisture so whatever you put it over it's basically going to like hold in the moisture but it's not necessarily on its own that because it doesn't have like nutrients in it so if you have say a really great like I don't know vitamin E or something like I don't know just like any I guess sorry guys <laughs> my camera ran out of storage so I had to download everything and then come back to this but, oh, I think I was saying the, yes, the homeoplasmine. Just put it on your lips and it's a great product. And then sim and similar is the dermoplasmine, which is actually in the shape of like for a lip product. And I heard about this from Violette FR. She's always talking about this in her videos as like something that she likes to prep her lips with before makeup. It's also something that's just easy to carry in your bag and just put on your lips throughout the day. But honestly, with these two products, the homeoplasmine and the dermoplasmine, 
once you put it on in the morning it's like it really moisturizes your lips like it's not the type of thing that you feel like you need to keep reapplying like with so many other like chapsticks <laughs> on the market they almost are a formula where they like it's like you have to keep applying them like the Burt's Bees ones is so waxy and just like they're actually designed to like make you continue to use their product and buy more of it versus this just like actually moisturizes your lips and it's good for you so yes I actually really like this one and I wish that I bought another one because I only have one tiny tube of it also for the lips I read on a website that this was good to get this is from Nukes which is the same brand as the oil and this is the Rev de Mio. Um, not sure it is a it's for dry damaged lips and it is kind of like it's yes it's made with honey with like a honey formula it looks like this and I don't like this one as much as I like some of the other products but I mean it's fine it's almost a little bit grainy like something about it um, but it's fine for the lips um, it feels nice it smells nice it's ultra nourishing and repairing honey lip balm so why not <laughs> also okay so last two things are eye products and I got from Caudalie which I actually found so I've always have loved this brand Caudalie but I never really really thought about it but when we were actually in Bordeaux and we were doing wine tours we found out that some of the I guess excess from the winemaking product is actually sent to other like I don't know companies that use it and Caudalie is one of the beauty brands that uses it in their products and I thought wow that's actually like a really nice <laughs> like quality ingredient that they're putting in their products and so I want to explore this brand a little bit more but in the French pharmacy I bought the Reservatol Lift this is a firming gel eye cream it's just meant for fine lines preventing wrinkles and it's very hydrating so love that actually it says on the back here you can apply morning and evening to eye and lip contours so kind of similar to the glossier bubble wrap you can put it on both your eyes and your lips because it is just that safe and then the other one that i got is the bioderma seraline ukes it is a gel contour for Dace Uke Sapazent Hydrant. <laughs> so I just looked this up and it's just a, another hydrating eye cream. It looks like this and all of their eye creams have this like kind of like thinner applicator on the ends there which is easy for just doing dot 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 and then gently rubbing it in with your and then actually I think there was one more thing. Where did it go? Oh it was <laughs> under something else was the Avene Secal Fate and I think I bought the wrong one honestly this one is the Emulsion Reparatrice and I looked it up and I think that this is meant for basically repairing your skin after skin treatment so if you got like a peel or like a special type of facial <laughs> which I haven't done um so clearly I this isn't the one that I meant to buy. I was reading some like French skincare article and I saw something about Avene Secal Fate, but I definitely bought the wrong one, sadly. <laughs> so that's okay, but yeah, so that's another one. And then the pharmacist, when I was checking out, just threw this in my bag for free. <laughs> Not sure what it is. It says soothing after sun milk for face and body. So I guess maybe this is good after you've been out in the sun. Um, this is from Vichy, another great brand. So we'll definitely be trying that out next time in the, I'm in the sun, which probably won't be for a while now that we're going into fall and winter, but I still am very appreciative of that. And then a couple other things that I would have bought, but I didn't because I knew that I could buy them in the US and they were too big to fit in my suitcase, were the Avene O Thermal Spring Water. I love using this before I do my cleanser because apparently New York City water is good, but I just don't fully trust it. I want, I want to use this. <laughs> so basically what I'll do is first take off my makeup with the Bioderma Micellar Water and then I will spray this on my face and then go in with my cleanser and then rinse off with some cold water from the sink. 
and then after that I'll go in with my spray also this one from Caudalie this is a beauty elixir it's for a smoothing glowing complexion it's basically I use it as my toner step and this is kind of you know the step where you would use like a rose water spray or anything like that I bought this small one at Sephora before I left but I will definitely be buying the bigger one now just knowing what I know about this brand so yeah I keep this one in my handbag because I like to just kind of refresh throughout the day but this was something else that I did see at the French pharmacies which I thought was a really good sign and if you're in the US they do sell this at Sephora so definitely check it out and then also I do have this La Roche Posay Sarazonic toner this is like a zinc like a zinc kind of spray so sometimes I'll use this in the morning but this is more mattifying so if you like more of a matte look it's great but if you like more of a glowy look maybe not exactly the one to use but um, this is also another cult favorite and yeah I think for the most part that's everything so let me know what you think of all of these products if you are a French girl then Please let me know in the comments what some of your favorites are and anything that is you absolutely love that I didn't mention. I truly want to know. So please let me know in the comments. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that if you feel the same way about French pharmacies that you have some ideas if you get to go to one. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Definitely, of course, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. <laughs> okay, bye.